I want to show you how we're going to use the Seesaw Class app to document our learning as well as our homeschool hours. I created a class for us. I've added my children over here as students and only my older two are elementary age so they'll be using this a lot more and each student has folders so you can customize your folders in here for different subjects when a student does a project or an assignment then they can come in here and add their work so post student work and they can either upload a photo they've already taken or take the photo in that moment so if they want to upload a photo they can come in here so if they want to they can add text about it or they can press the microphone and talk about it and then when they're done they say okay and then they select their name and if they worked on it together you can select more than one student and then you select which folder it goes in and it can be more than one. Let's say her art project also was a science project. So I would select both of those, say okay. And then now Eden, Eden's item is in just her folder and it's tagged art and STEM. So if I go to each child's folders right now, you can see Eden has one item in her art folder, one item in her STEM folder. We also use this app to document our hours for homeschool. So I went ahead and uploaded a week's worth of lesson plan documentation so you could see what it would look like to have several posts included in the folder. So this is Eleanor's folder. So I, if you go to Eleanor and I'm selecting her daily report, so you can see there's Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. So it's going to start with the most recent post first. And they're all there. And then Lucy is going to have the same post because I tagged both people. And you can see over here that they're both included in that post. Another really exciting feature on this app is the activities. So you can design an activity for them, but you can also come and get activities from Seesaw. You can search anything and you can search science experiments and it will come up with a bunch of suggestions and um, they have you know, reading assignments. So here's an example. Um, you would have them read the story and then reflect in it and it shows them with the icons how to do it in the app and then it saves it in their folder. So we will probably limit how many activities we do on the iPad because we would prefer more hands-on learning but this can be paired with tangible um, hands-on. But what I really like about it is that it's teaching them a very valuable skill of how to document their learning and how to share that information for collaboration.